Here we are with the HP Elite X3. It's about time this bad boy came in the mail. I got it yesterday. Of course, I opened it up right away and got, got to play with it. Um, so go ahead and wipe off this dust right here. So on the back, we have the uh, fingerprint scanner, uh, which doesn't work out the box. You have to install a software update. And then we have a 16 megapixel, I believe, camera, um, which I haven't really tested yet. I uh, got the new HP logo and the Pogo pins for installer and extension packs for enterprises. On the bottom, we have the USB-C port, uh, 4100 milliamp battery from what I recall, uh, and the headphone jack. So we can go ahead here. This is the 5.96 uh, AMOLED, I think it's QHD screen. Uh, got the sound system at the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure, I forgot the brand, but overall uh, this device feels very good I mean this is not a cheap device in, in any way um, it's far better than the Lumia's in, in my opinion uh, Microsoft should have done this from the start we'll go ahead here so I don't have the iris I have the fingerprint scanner go ahead and let's see put this bad boy in like that and boom we're in so Overall, the device is, is is snappy. It's it's you know it's it's speedy. Uh, if there's anything else that's holding it back, it's just the software uh, for the most part. Um, the device does come preloaded with a bunch of HP apps. You can see here uh, there are some missing um, that HP has advertised, such as the Display Tools app. Um, where you can you know enable double uh, tap to wake and things of that sort um, other than that uh, I gotta say the phone is, is speedy you know very speedy so let's just go in here got the standard Windows keyboard which I think is the best keyboard on the market go in here go to ESPN let's see how fast this bad boy loads up so yeah pretty pretty fast um, very snappy you could see um, way more fluid than any other phone in the market this really sets the, the precedence for the for the Windows ecosystem and I think that you know it's really upon Microsoft now I mean this has four gigs of RAM and 820 Snapdragon processor fully loaded uh, fully decked out phone um, Go here. You can see this thing is blazing fast. Um, this is the phone that could really save this ecosystem, uh, followed by the Surface phone. But I think that it'll, it's great that a major, um, you know, brand like HP took the initiative to really uh, enable the sort of the power of, of Windows 10 on mobile with hardware. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, let's see here, taking a little longer to start up. Go ahead and got my 30 second timeout. Yeah, overall, good device. Um, still got a ways to go uh, to sort of get this ecosystem in place and get these apps up to par but we're heading in the right direction i think it's about time uh that hp sort of or any uh, sort of uh manufacturer bought on something that was worthwhile to compete with high-end phones and other competing platforms so yeah good good device happy to see where this is going and let's see here I gotta say the software does is still laggy and it doesn't do justice to the 820 chip. Um, I'll do another follow-up video. This is just a warm introduction to this to this phone right here, the HP phone. You can see it. All right, friends. Until next time.